David Ayal, the normal kicker, set to kick off in his chartreuse shoes. Towson, black pants, black jerseys with orange under the armpits, black helmets, no logo, white numerals with orange trim against Hot Springs, blue and white. Here's the kick. It's not a good kick. It's going to be caught at the 15 on a line drive coming right up the middle. So this will be a better return already out to the 35 and gang tackle there in the middle of the field. That was almost like a knuckleball kick. It was kind of a line drive and one of their, uh, they had three men back deep and one of them just ran up and caught it on the fly and kept running. So a very dangerous kick that time because they had a head of steam as they were coming forward, but they're only going to get to the 36-yard line where they'll take over first and 10. Hot Springs in blue pants, red socks, white jerseys with blue numbers trimmed in red, white helmets with a blue T on their helmet. Of course, Hot Springs from Truth or Consequences, and they are the Tigers. A red stripe and a blue stripe, thin stripes on the top of their helmet. They come, start the first play of the second half. Two wings, quarterback under center now, man in motion to the right-hand side. Fake by the quarterback. That was either a busted play or a designed quarterback keeper that goes nowhere, and the whistles are going to blow before their quarterback even goes down. They'll give him officially a gain of two. They sent a man in motion from the left towards the right-hand side. The quarterback went to fake a handoff, but the player was already past him, so the quarterback actually faked to nobody, basically, and then ran off the left side tackle. He'll gain about a yard and a half and bring up second and eight. Hot Springs now coming to the line of scrimmage. They'll send one man split wide to the right. They have a wing off of each tight end, one man behind the quarterback that is under center. Nobody in motion. Now man goes in motion on the right at the very last second. Looks like the quarterback's going to keep it again. He gets hit in the backfield and will be taken down for a loss. He faked the handoff. The fullback dived right up the middle. He faked that, kept the ball, pulled it out, trying to go around to the right-hand side. But several Taos players were in there and taking down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. This is a very generous officiating crew. They'll say he only lost about a yard and a half there, pushed the ball back to the 36-yard line, which was the original line of scrimmage to start this series. It'll bring up third down and 10. Breaking the huddle, coming to the line of scrimmage. Hot Springs, even though the ball's on the right-hand hash mark, split a man to the right side on the short side, and now send a man in motion that way, too. They want to throw the ball back to the left. Well-designed plays. They snuck out a tight end on the left-hand side. They faked everything to the right, then came back to the left. They're going to say he catches that ball out to the 41-yard line, but it will be well short of a first down. The ball was thrown near the ankles of that player. If it had been a better thrown ball, he might have gained more, as that's the first time we've seen that wrinkle out of Hot Springs. But it will bring up fourth down and five for the Hot Springs Tigers, and they will be forced to punt from their own 41-yard line. Cal's having some personnel problems. Marshall Cummings running on late. No snap of the ball yet. Long snap count, trying to draw Taos off sides. That would give him a first down. Taos not going to buy it. Very high snap, lofted. Taos is going to block this punt. The ball is very short. It got tipped at the line of scrimmage. It's going to roll to the 50-yard line, now rolling all the way past the 45 to the Taos 42-yard line where it will die. That punt actually more effective than one of their ones that they kicked out of their own end zone, even though Taos got their hand on that ball. That snap went straight up in the air, hung up in the air, and then fell down where the punter had to try to catch it and kick it all in one motion. Taos was back there and actually got a hand on that ball, just didn't block it and make it go backwards. So a tipped punt there by Hot Springs on their first offensive possession. Taos will take over first and 10 from their own 41-yard line. Taos huddling on the sideline as they do to start each offensive series, and they'll go straight to the ball with no huddle in the backfield. If you're just joining us, Taos is up 27-0 here in the third quarter. This is their first possession of the second half. They come out in spread formation, two wide on each side. Shotgun for the quarterback, one man in the back. Now Lorenzo Rial coming around. It's an end around to Lorenzo Rial, and he's going to get caught in the back. Now breaks out of one tackle, but can't get out of the second and third tackles. This will be a big loss for Taos as they try an end around to Lorenzo Rial coming to the near sideline. Good, uh, good defense there. Good containment by Hot Springs, and this will be a loss of five yards. Second and 15 for the Taos tight end. Of course, Taos started the game all in tight, two tight ends, two fullbacks, and a running back. They start the second half by going spread formation, spreading everybody out. Stiff wind behind them. You'd think they might be able to throw the ball in this stiff wind if they wanted to. Now the base formation for Taos. One man split. Now two men split on the left side. Eye formation behind the quarterback under center. Hot Springs shows blitz. Here they come. Taos throws the ball, and it's in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. That's number 15 for Taos. That's Miles Aldred. That ball 
Kevin McCarty ended up on his back. There was a blitz and they got to him. He was able to get the ball off but took a hit just as he was throwing it and that forced the ball to be just a little bit high and just a little bit behind Miles Aldridge. That ball will fall incomplete and bring up third down and 15 for Taos. Taos comes out, spread formation, three split to the left, the wide side, shotgun for the quarterback, one on the right-hand side. Hot Springs blitzes again. It's a swing pass to Isaac in the flat. He's got it. He's up to the 40-yard line. He's going to run over a man at the 43 and dive forward to the 44-yard line, but that will be about seven yards short of a first down. Hot Springs now blitzing the quarterback a little more. Tau spreading it out and Hot Springs saying, we're going to come after you if you're going to do that. They forced a quick throw, but they had Isaac Gonzalez coming out of the backfield into the flat. Now there is a penalty against Hot Springs. Let's see what the result of this penalty is. Coach Lopez is saying, push him back. The result of that play would have been fourth down and about seven. They're going to call a personal foul roughing the passer against Hot Springs. We just mentioned that they had been blitzing and getting to Kevin McCarty. They still haven't spotted the ball or the first down marker. The result of the play was third down and 15. The result of the play would be fourth down and seven, but the penalty, it's a personal foul penalty. It should be 15 yards, so this should be a first down no matter what. So now the officials are marking the ball off from the end of the run. So it will be 15 yards tacked on to the end of the swing pass to Isaac Gonzalez. That's going to push the ball all the way to the 41-yard line in Hot Springs territory and be a first down for Taos. So now Taos being pushed in to Hot Springs territory via that penalty there quickly line of scrimmage. Spread formation. Three to the right, one to the left. Shotgun with one man behind him. Straight drop back. McCarty steps up and fires the ball, caught at the 30-yard line. That's Devin Ortega. He spins out of one tackle, gets back to the 30. Now the 25. Now he breaks another tackle, and he's going to go down the sideline. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Taos. Terrific second and third efforts by Devin Ortega. He was hit right after he threw it, spun around, got out of another tackle, then ran away from another man, and then continued on down the sideline, never giving up on his pushing forward and gets all the way into the end zone, a 41-yard touchdown strike. Tremendous effort there by Devin Ortega. Eight minutes, 15 seconds on the clock. Taos now 33. Here's the extra point kick attempt. Another very high snap. Number 12, the holder, Mateo Sandoval, the backup quarterback, again having to stand up to take that snap. It wasn't a fake of any kind. He had to stand up and try to squat down and get the ball down. It was a poor, a poor hold because of that snap. The kick got off. It was a line drive that hits the bottom of the crossbar and bounces down. So that extra point kick attempt is no good. That is twice in a row now that Taos has not been able to convert the extra point kick attempt. The one at the end of the second quarter looked like it might have been an intentional fail. Fake, although that snap was high and uh, Mateo was able to stand up and then throw the ball to the kicker. This time it was high and he tried to get the ball down and by the time uh, uh, David Ayel tried to kick the ball, it was in a poor spot and it was a very low line drive kick under the crossbar. So after the failed extra point kick attempt, it is Taos 33, Hot Springs 0. We're going to keep it right here as both teams are on the field ready for this kickoff. The wind is really stiff right now. The flag is really whipping. Still some snow showers at the higher elevations, although nothing coming down here at our elevation right now. Fresh snow, fresh snow on the tips of the mountains right now, and a stiff wind, but no precipitation at the moment. So it looks like Larry Martinez is set to kick off again. This is going to be one of those squib kicks. Yes, and it bounces on the ground. It's going to get caught at the 35 by one of the up men. Takes it in the chest and tries to go forward. He's not going to run very far, but they're going to have good field position at about the 43 or 44 yard line, as instead of that ball bouncing over the up man, he was able to step up and take it right in the chest, standing up, and then try to run forward a little bit. So uh, interesting kickoff strategy here by Taos. Maybe they're not wanting to let any kind of long run back turn the momentum of the game. But as it stands, Hot Springs will take over first and 10 from their own 43-yard line. 
They break their hole, come to the line of scrimmage. Ball just touching the big orange logo in the middle of the field. One man split to the right, wings on each side, quarterback under center, one man behind him in fullback position. Now a man goes in motion to the right. They're going to hand off to him going right, kind of a sweep to the right. He gets caught from behind by Larry Martinez to slow him down, and then he pushes forward a little bit. He'll gain about four yards on that play with second effort. That's number 20, Quentin Montoya for Hot Springs. A little different wrinkle there as they got everybody going towards the wide side of the field and just got it someone going that way. And so he didn't have a head of steam going, didn't have much speed, but was able just to kind of pick his way a little bit. And they're going to give him almost five yards on that carry. Larry Martinez came around from behind and caught him from behind, but wasn't able to tackle him as he pushed forward just a little bit. Second down and five for Hot Springs now at their own 48-yard line. Same formation, strong to the left, shotgun for the quarterback. Now man in motion, they give it to the man in motion, coming to the near sideline. He gets hit in the backfield, but breaks that tackle and gets to the outside. First down yardage and more. He'll finally get taken down by Larry Martinez and Lorenzo Rael, but that time Taos, again, hitting him from the side and from behind, not being able to knock him down, and that's the same running back, number 20, Quentin Montoya, able to get towards the wide side of the field, the left side, as they're going right to left across your radio dial. Get first down yardage in the Taos territory, between the 42 and the 43. Seven minutes, ten seconds, and ticking on the clock. Taos up 33 to nothing here in the third quarter, but Hot Springs now driving and in Taos territory. Again, a very stiff, cold north wind right in the face of Hot Springs as they're going into Taos territory. One man split to the left, wings on each side, shotgun for the quarterback with one man by him. Now a handoff, a man coming around, they're going to... I didn't see who got this ball. It was the man coming around. A terrific fake. It faked me up out here in the press box. It was the man, the same running back, number 20, Quentin Montoya, was in motion coming to the left side. They handed the ball off to him. I thought that they, he was already past the quarterback, but somehow they got him the ball, and he gets down to the 30-yard line for a first down. Actually spotting the nose of the ball, touching the Taos 29. So now first and 10 for Hot Springs inside the Taos 30. This is the first penetration into Taos territory that they've earned. Of course, they got there early with an onside kick, but this is the first time they're driving into Taos territory. Same play. Here comes number 20 going to the right-hand side on a sweep. This time they get him at the line of scrimmage. They're going to push him down. This will be no gain on the play. Again, Quentin Montoya was set as the wing on the left-hand side. He went in motion towards the right-hand side, which is the wide side of the field. The quarterback handed the ball off to him as he went around. It's almost like he gets past the quarterback and then the quarterback kind of sticks it in there as he goes past him. Um, I guess he has the option there of pulling the ball out and either running with it or maybe passing after that. But this time, it's going to be a loss of almost two yards on the play. The ball now between the 30 and the 31 in Taos territory. It'll be second down and 12 after Taos defended that end around well that time. One man split on each side for uh, Hot Springs now. Quarterback and shotgun. Montoya in motion again. They'll give it to him again, and Taos will defend it well again. They take him at the line of scrimmage and push him backwards. They spread the field out a little more with wide receivers on each side. Montoya was at a wing on the right-hand side. He came in motion across in front of the quarterback. They snapped the ball out of shotgun formation and handed it to him end around style. But Taos, right there to meet him, they're going to give him no gain on that play. It'll be third down, and it's really a long 11 as the ball is between the 30 and the 31 in Taos territory. Trying to get wide on Taos, but right now they're, they're uh, holding their gaps. Good containment, not allowing the truth or consequences players to get to the outside. One man split to the right, wings on each side, Taos jumps off sides. It was third down and 11. That'll gain five for Hot Springs as they'll push the ball five more yards and it'll bring up third down and six. Indication of offsides against the Tigers might be a penalty. Those are two uh, Taos 25 for third and six. And the nose of the ball is going to touch the Taos 25 yard line and bring out third down and a long six for Hot Springs. They're out of their huddle, quickly to the line of scrimmage. One man split to the left. They've got two men in the backfield, a wing that is set way back with the running back and a wing near the line of scrimmage on the right-hand side. The quarterback's under center. It's a pitch going to the left side. Taos almost caught that pitch. Jonathan Cordova, though, comes up from the cornerback position and takes down the running back just as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Taos had a player in the backfield. The quarterback turned and pitched it to the wing that was set back in the backfield, so he had to take the ball from under center and pitch it kind of past the tackle. Taos had a, the end coming in there, could have intercepted that pitch. He was in the backfield so fast, but was looking at the, I guess, the running back that was behind the quarterback. So the ball went behind the Taos player, was caught by the running back, tried to get to the outside, but Jonathan
Jonathan Cordova coming up from the cornerback position and making that tackle for no gain. Ball spotted squarely on the 25-yard line. It's fourth down for Hot Springs, fourth down and six, and they're lining up to go for it at the Taos 25. One man split wide to the right. Shotgun for the quarterback. Two wings. Now a wing going in motion left to right. Quarterback. Quarterback's going to get sacked in the backfield. He breaks out of one tackle. Now going to get slammed down by Ramon Marmo back at the 35-yard line. There is a flag on the play, but the result of the play is a quarterback sack on fourth down, a loss of 10 on that play, pending the flag that's on the far sideline. It's fourth down and six. Taos, even if Taos was off sides, it's not going to be enough for a first down, but they were going for it on fourth and six. Let's see. They're talking to the Taos defensive captain. It looks like a penalty against Hot Springs. That time it looked like they were going to try to throw the ball. Their quarterback backed up. Taos pushed him backwards, and big Ramon Marmol slammed him down back at the 35-yard line. A loss of 10 on that play. They're going to spot the ball officially at the 32-yard line in Taos on the Taos side of the field at the right-hand hash mark. But that was fourth down, and they didn't get a first. That means it will be Taos's ball on offense at their own 32, first and 10. <laughs> Terrific defensive stand there as Hot Springs had something going, driving down the field, getting to the Taos 25, but then the defense stiffening and pushing him backwards. Taos comes out one man split on each side of the field, I formation behind the quarterback, their standard set for the Tigers. Here's a straight drop back from McCarty, now rolling to his left, throws the ball to Lorenzo Rael. It's a catch to the 40, to the 45, gets to the 50, gets down the sideline. He may break this one as well. He's slowing down. He must have stepped out of bounds. Yes, he had clear sailing and then slowed down because the referee says he stepped out at the 40-yard line. That was going to be another 65-yard touchdown for Lorenzo, but he steps out of bounds on the far sideline. They're going to spot this ball at the 44-yard line. Again, it was at the 32, so that's a big game. Another big game for Lorenzo there, but just steps out of bounds or it would have been another long touchdown. First and 10 for the Tigers. They're at the 44-yard line in Hot Springs territory. Three minutes, 30 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Taos up 33 to nothing. High formation, one man split on each side. Same play coming. Blitz chasing McCarty from back on. Same play to Riel. He catches at the 40. Makes, get, tries to get around one man, but he will make the tackle. One-on-one -on -one tackle there. You don't see Lorenzo go down very often. One-on-one. -on -one. Good tackle that time by number 40. Three, Saeed Porras for Hot Springs. Gain of about six on that play down to the Hot Springs 38 yard line between the 37 and the 38. Second and four for Taos. <laughs> Taos breaks the huddle, comes to the line of scrimmage. They'll send Martin Bernal to the right. Three players to the left. Shotgun formation for Kevin McCarty. Isaac Gonzalez behind him in the shotgun. Here's the snap. Rolls to his left. Isaac picks up a block now. The ball thrown and caught by Lorenzo Rael. Three state passes to Lorenzo Rael. Another completion inside the 30. It is a first down for Taos. Nice hard line drive throw there by McCarty. They had Isaac back there as a blocker and actually Hot Springs had a man came, come through and Isaac Gonzalez put an excellent block on him, stood him, stood him up and stopped him in place. Allowed uh, Kevin McCarty to slip over to his left, plant his feet and drive that ball. Good catch by Lorenzo Rael at the 28-yard line in Hot Springs territory where it's another first down Tigers. Tau splits two men wide to the right, one wide to the left. Shot, uh, man, quarterback under center, blitz, but they pick up the blitz. Devin Ortega catches the swing pass. He's got room to run to the 20, to the 15, to the 10. He's going to go into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! Touchdown to Devin Ortega on the left side. Kevin McCarty was under center. He bashed up, though, taking a 12-yard line. They look like they want to run a fake, but actually they keep it running right at the middle. He breaks free into the clear. Only Ayala is in front of him, and he slips down at the 45-yard line in Taos territory. Maybe Taos saw this, and that's why they've had Larry Martinez kicking and kicking a squib kick bouncing on the ground. That time Ayala going back and kicking the ball off deep, but it's caught and almost broke that one. Ayala was in front of him. And it looked like Devin Ortega was closing in on him, but he slips down at the Taos 45-yard line. If he had put a move on David Ayala, he may have taken it in all the way. One minute and 40 seconds left to play here in the third. 41-0, Taos up right now. Hot Springs will take over first and 10 from the Taos 45-yard line. Ball spotted on the right-hand hash mark. They'll send one man wide to the right, which is the short side. Wings on both sides. Their quarterbacks in shotgun. One man right behind him. Now a man in motion coming to the near side. Quarterback keeper wants to throw the ball. Taos, it's a center screen. They've got it set up, and it's caught at the 45. Number 28, Isaac Gonzalez there to take him down at the 41-yard line. 
taking advantage of Taos' defensive aggressiveness there. The quarterback backed up and allowed the defense to chase him, then lobbed the ball over their head. Luckily, Isaac Gonzalez there stayed in containment, stayed back a little bit. That completed pass will be good for five yards to the Taos 40-yard line. If Isaac hadn't stayed back, that might have been a big hitter there. That play can uh, go a long way because you let half the Taos defense get in the backfield and chase the quarterback where all the blockers for Hot Springs stay home and wait for that ball to be lobbed over the defensive head. Second down and five from the Taos, 40. 39 seconds and ticking here in the third quarter. Two men now split wide to the right for TRC. One wing on the right hand, shotgun formation. Quarterback rolling to his right now, passes back to the left side. Almost intercepted. Jonathan Cordova read that and jumped in front of the ball, got his hands on it right at the same time as the running back in the flats. They were running a, a misdirection there. Everybody going to the right, and they snuck out a tight end to the left flat. The quarterback pumped fake to the right, then turned around and threw back to the other side of the field. Jonathan Cordova, standout cornerback for Taos, blitzed on that. He jumped up in front of it almost most jumped that route, would have been clear sailing in front of him if he had caught that ball. As it stands, it's incomplete. Now third down and five for Hot Springs. The the There's the gun for the end of the third quarter.